Okay, welcome back to Math 20-3s. This is lesson 4.3, and we're gonna be looking at how to use all of the trig ratios. Okay, so from the first lesson in this chapter, we looked at sine, cos, and tan. And we just focused on using tan in the last two lessons, and now we're gonna look at how to use cos and sine. The good part about this is it's gonna be the exact same way to use these. It now just has different ratios. So now if we wanna find information about the opposite and we have information about the hypotenuse and the angle, we're just going to use sine. So we're gonna operate the same way as we did with tan, but just it's gonna be based off of knowing information or wanting information about those different sides. So first let's just practice which one to use. So it says on the side, which should you use? Sine, cos, or tan? But I put so katoa there to remember that sine is opposite and hypotenuse. Ka or cos is adjacent and hypotenuse and toa for tan is opposite and adjacent. So if it's looking at this angle and we want to figure out what that angle is, we have information about the hypotenuse over here and about the opposite over here. So we have O and H. That's going to take us to so and we're going to have to use sine to find that angle. Remember, we can use these trig ratios to find angles or to find sides. So that one we would use sine. This next one, it gives us the angle right here. It's asking about the opposite and it gives us information about the adjacent. So I look at A and O and that's gonna take me to TOA. So we'd have to use tan using this angle to find this question mark right here. And this last one, if we are given this angle, we wanna find information about this side. That is the longest one, it's the hypotenuse. And we have information about the opposite. So we have O and H, that one is going to be sine. We're gonna use a sine to figure out that hypotenuse. I guess there was an example using a cos, but that would be if you just have information about the hypotenuse, trying to figure out the adjacent, or any situation like that using adjacent and hypotenuse and an angle. Now the process of using sine and cos are the exact same as we saw with using tan, but now we're just gonna have to press those sine and cos buttons. So it's the same process, but I will go through an example uh, using sine here for that last example. So as we already had before, we're trying to find for the hypotenuse, we have the opposite and we have an angle. So we're gonna use sine theta is equal to our opposite over our hypotenuse. Now in this case, this is one of the harder ones where it's asking to solve for the number on the bottom. And we saw this in the previous tan lessons and how we get that or solve for that number on the bottom, in this case h, is the first thing we have to do is get it out of the bottom because otherwise we're gonna be left with one over h, which we don't want to have to deal with. So we're gonna times by h on this side to cancel it out of the bottom. We times by it on that side, we times by it on this side as well. And I have h, times sine theta is equal to opposite. Now I wanna get that h by itself now that it's out of the bottom, which is good. So I'm gonna move this whole sine theta to the other side. So to cancel that out from being multiplied by h, we divide it by sine theta and divide this side by sine theta and this cancels out. So now let's write what we have. We have h is equal to O over sine theta. Let's fill in our values. H is equal to four is our opposite. Over sine, our angle is 10 degrees. Again, make sure, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. There's another way to measure uh, angles, which is called radians. We're not gonna be dealing with that in this class, so you need to make sure that your calculator is not in radian mode, but it's in degree mode, so that it knows when we put a 10 in there, that it means 10 degrees, not 10 radians. It's different for each calculator, uh, but if you have any questions with that, you can definitely ask me. In the calculator I have here, if you press mode, which is kind of that uh, button to the middle left, it brings up this uh, option where we can either go in radians or in degrees. We need to make sure degree is selected. This is a really common uh, way for us uh, graphing calculator and the TI-83s and 84s often look like this as well. If you have a different calculator, it might look different. But now that we are in degrees, let's go four divided by now sine theta, which was 10. We close the bracket, press equal, and we get 23.035, so 23. So I'll fill that in here, 23 for the length of this side. And you may think, well, that seems like pretty long uh, compared to this four, which it is. This triangle isn't probably drawn that accurately. This looks like way more than 10 degrees. So I'm gonna draw 10 degrees. It's gonna look a lot more kind of like that. And that would make more sense 
because 10 degrees is a pretty small angle and this being 23 and that being four would make more sense. So not quite a proportionally drawn triangle there, uh, but the math was done correctly. That's all we have for this video. Try the practice questions, ask me questions in the live time, and I will see you in the next video.